Hello AFAM and welcome to London, England. I am Josh. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to The Way Away. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, give us a like, and hit the bell so you can follow more of our adventures. Today we are on an enormous challenge. We are going to try and eat three different meals. Secretly, we're filming this over three different days <laughs> because we're going to try an English breakfast three times, but at three different price ranges. Yeah, I've always seen on Google, like when I search breakfast and then breakfast places come up, they have these like dollar signs or here or they like have pound, pound signs. signs. One two and three pound signs and I've never known what that means like when coming to a new city you don't know what to expect for prices and so we're gonna try out the three different price points when it comes to an English breakfast assuming that the three pound option doesn't break the bank yeah <laughs> Okay, we've come to Terry's Cafe and I picked up the standard that is eight pounds fifty and Ashley has got something called the what? <laughs> this is the works and it is everything you want in an English breakfast. I couldn't believe when she brought out this plate. It's ginormous. But we understand that when going to these places, the, the pricing on Google is pricing for the full menu. And my dish is the second most expensive thing on the menu. Everything else is much cheaper. So just to take that into consideration when we're comparing these places, but for 12 pounds, this is everything we got. And I think it's completely worth it. This is a ginormous breakfast. This, we probably could have shared the whole thing ourselves. So I think for the price range of the one dollar sign rating on Google Maps, the cuteness factor is a value. This place is ridiculously cute. It's tiny and it's got pictures all over the walls of like old timey London and I mean it's adorable really. We wanted to show you what is in an English breakfast. I have here baked beans which is very popular. We also have a banger which is a sausage almost, black pudding, um, tomatoes, mushrooms, um, kind of some kind of mash, potato mash. I, it would be like our form of hash browns but it's like a lot more dense in my opinion egg and um streaky streaky bacon streaky bacon <laughs> yeah the only thing that i learned last time we were here that this didn't come with is the fried bread and we got in such big trouble last time for not having it and i think it's extra it does not come with the meal try my sausage in the u.s with our breakfast we have link sausages they're kind of small and they taste like breakfast sausages this tastes exactly like a breakfast sausage, except I think it's pretty much six times the size of what our small breakfast sausages are like. So take six of those, put them together, and you'll get this ginormous one. Brown sauce. <laughs> I'm so looking forward to using this brown sauce. I don't even know if you're supposed to put them on the potatoes, but I love this stuff. <laughs> Okay, this is about as far as I could get. Ashley even shared with me some of her potatoes, and I had some of her black sausage, or wait, what's that? Is that called black sausage? Black pudding? Black pudding, there it is. Yeah. How was yeah. it though? It was delicious. So much food. So for the price, I think it's totally worth it. I'm curious about the more expensive places, if it will be around the same price, but just a smaller plate of uh -huh. food. Um, yeah, I'm excited to try this. So yeah, we'll see. see. See how it goes. But this was delicious, and we are so stuffed. For my money on my dish, when you saw it, it was kind of an empty plate. I'm not sure that eight pounds 50 is worth that, but then again, this is the one dollar sign option, so this is probably on the cheaper end of it. I mean, four things on a dish for around $10, that feels steep to me, but it is London, so. When we first started out, our frosted caramel. Our second breakfast with two dollar signs is the Table Cafe. First impressions of our two dollar tier, two dollar sign tier, is that it's definitely a more trendy place. When we arrived, she asked if we had reservations, which we did not, so we've been put in the lovely outdoor space. <laughs> Indoor is full, but make sure if you're gonna come on the weekends, it's a Sunday, to get a reservation because this place is busy. Supposedly they won a, an award from Time Out Magazine here in London, and so that 
is why I think that their prices are a little higher. So for this English breakfast, we are spending 14 pounds. Um, that's about two pounds more than the mm -hmm. last place that we went. But as you can see, the dish is much smaller, but there are a few items on here that are a little more different and maybe a little higher end than the last place we went. Expect to spend at least 10 pound to 17 pound. So on this English breakfast, the beans in the middle, they look more like a homemade bean, not um, just Heinz beans, which is what we got yesterday and what I would come to expect with an English breakfast, maybe in a greasy spoon type place. But this place is a little fancier. They also give you a giant mushroom instead of a bunch of small mushrooms. And something that they didn't include yesterday was the sour sourdough fried bread um, and this time they included it with two eggs instead of the one that we got yesterday although this platter is much smaller than what we got yesterday for a lower price so we'll, we'll see how it tastes but in my opinion by just looks that one probably is the better price range for me the cheap one the, yeah yeah oh. like because you get so much more food sure, for sure. that price yeah but maybe this tastes a lot better also what is this this looks like streaky bacon to me, huh? I mean, it's pretty close. Yeah, this looks a lot more like American bacon than what we had yesterday as well. So, all the same things on this dish, but these look very different and maybe a bit higher quality. Get a little mushroom. A little brain. Beans. Bacon. Bread. All right. The beans are delicious. Definitely seems to be higher quality. Really? On all the items. So now that you've actually tasted it, even though it's technically less food, it tastes better. So is that worth the, the two pounds more? I think they're two totally different things. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's hard to compare. This is trendy and higher quality food, but the other place is like greasy spoon, fun little diner type place. Mm -hmm. I like them both. I'm glad we came to both of them. 14 pounds is a lot for this kind of breakfast. It is, though. I think I'm gonna have to agree with Ashley on that. The food was quite a bit better, actually, than the greasy spoon we went to before. Um, but is it worth the, the two extra pounds? In this case, I would say yes, actually. But there are a few other things that you have to pay for. Because it is now a $2 sign rated uh, restaurant, they do a few other things like add on a service charge. And if you don't know, in England, it's not super common to tip on top of stuff. So the slipping a service charge in there in the fine print on the menu is, you know, just one of the things that you might expect when you come to a $2 sign rated restaurant instead of the $1 sign. So now, off to $3 signs? It's day three of our breakfast challenge, I guess you could call it, but today is the $3 sign, which we're hoping it doesn't break the bank, but I'm super excited about that this one because we are having breakfast up there on the 40th floor. What? Okay, we need to find how to get inside this place. <laughs> Whoa, it's so fast. <laughs> My ears popped. What? Ooh, so high. You can see everything. Come all the way up to the 40th floor and we are waiting in the bar because they didn't make reservations. I probably should have done that. For fancier restaurants, I feel like they expect reservations. But we made it in and I think she's getting a table ready for us. If you have more than two people, I'm pretty sure it would be a lot more difficult to get a table without a reservation. Hello guys, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your breakfast guys. Thanks. Thank you. Oh my gosh, how do we get a seat next to the window without reservations? <laughs> this is amazing. Coming in as 
the most expensive English breakfast we have gotten in London. This was only 16 pounds. To me, that's a great price because you're getting the ambiance and this amazing view. It's only two more pounds from the last place that we tried, but here on this one, um, it comes with a cheese scone, which I'm really excited to try, as well as they have um, the mushroom streaky bacon again, which I'm surprised about, some um, sausage, two eggs, tomato and then a delicious little hash brown in the center so it all looks amazing great quality um, compared to the first one but definitely less food uh, like we had said in the last place so yeah I'm gonna try this out and see what I think we realized that an English breakfast may not be for everyone and the prices have steadily gone up from 12 pounds for the ultimate English breakfast to 14 pounds to 16 pounds and actually the first place was only 850 for a basic English breakfast similar to what Ashley would have had um, but we are at a place called the duck and waffle so it seems appropriate to get the namesake dish so we've splashed out we've gotten more than an English breakfast and we have got the duck and waffle it is duck and waffle and there's an egg and some sort of sauce to put on it so we'll see how that goes okay already I am a convert the mixture of the duck with the sauce, which actually is just maple syrup, is so, so good. And then of course the waffle adds a lot and the egg as well, but man, that oily kind of greasy, um, what, uh, salty duck with the sweet sauce, oh, it's so, so good. My breakfast is also really delicious. All the different items taste really good together. I specifically love the mushroom and the um, hash browns. Those are always my favorite on this kind of dish anyway. But really good, great quality. Um, probably top of my list, to be honest. So if you were to get rid of the ambiance, is it worth the money? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I would say the last place maybe was a little bit better. The mid-tier? Um, except that it didn't have the hash browns, which I really love. Okay. So, yeah, I would say without the ambiance, maybe not. But because of the ambiance, because of the view, um, and the taste of the food, this this is number one and for sure a place for you guys to come check out when in London. It's, it's really cool. We, we haven't gone to places like this ever, I don't think. It's a, it's a treat. is cheap versus expensive English breakfast with a little bit of duck waffle thrown in there. <laughs> uh, this last place was honestly really, really nice, yeah. but it is a treat. It's a, it's a treat price for us. Yeah, we found actually that Google, the pricing seems to be actually on point. Yeah. So each place that we went was a little bit more expensive than the last. Um, and it also depends on the meal times that you come. I think See, so. Breakfast is normally the cheapest meal of the day when you go out for it, um, but all these places they serve other meals um, during the day as well. But that was lovely. I think in general the pricing was great because overall the pricing of everything on the menu rose. In fact, this place, a mimosa, was 14 pounds. We did not get mimosas. Um, so <laughs> it was it, definitely pricier than the rest. Definitely was. And there was a 13.5% service charge, which, you know, if they do it in the U.S. would be like, what, 15%? Yeah. So, I mean, it's, for us as Americans, it's like kind of expected, I suppose. And we chose to do the English breakfast, but like I was telling Josh earlier, that the English breakfast, it, you can find it everywhere, and yeah. most of the time it will be the same. Um, but these places Places also highlight some other really great meals and so don't just we can't, we can't just um, what is the word compare I guess we can't just compare them because of the English breakfast they all do have other amazing foods so yeah, come sure. to these places when you come to London yeah. I hope we encourage you to get out and travel today and we will see you in the next video bye bye a huge shout out to all of our patrons who helped make this video possible if you want to follow more go to Instagram at wayawaymag don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to check out our second channel, Way More, if you want to see way more from us.